Hello, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to an Engineer Asterisk Plays. Once again, Kerbal Space Program. Let's jump right in. Now, I have made the discovery, 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 that uh, all of the music in this game is by Kevin McLeod, my favorite source of royalty free music. So, I will no longer be having the in-game music, which skips and jumps and does all kinds of crazy things. Uh, yeah, I'll just be uh, laying it o over or under something like that in post. Uh, also, uh, I did lose a Kerbal, sadly. Uh, Jebediah, while he was exploring the Arctic, for some reason felt the necessity to kick his probe, which uh, leapt up slightly and then buried him in the snow, never to be seen again. Tried reloading the game, he was gone, autosave, all that stuff, so. Poor Jebediah has been released, re replaced by Camwell. Uh, I do have two other Kerbals. Bob and Bill are currently out and about, doing a bit of exploring and sciencing for me. And there's poor Jebediah. Rest in peace. I should have left the probe there as like a memorial or something, but meh. Says I might not need this guy in a few minutes, cause while I was out exploring the mountains and the Antarctic, uh, I got enough science to go ahead and research this stuff. So, we got some uh, flight control here, finally get some more inline reaction wheels, and something I can use to replace my Kerbals, so I'm not murdering them all the time. We'll just send stuff in space and leave it up there. Pretty nice. And winglets to help our ascent. What is that open? Let's scroll over here. I do apologize if I sound a bit hoarse. I believe I have a cold coming on, and it is absolutely wrecking my throat. Uh, I'll try to compensate for my quietness in post, but I can't guarantee the quality of my voice. Uh, ooh, advanced flight control. We got Delta Deluxe Winglets, uh, inline advanced stabilizers, very nice. Another kind of cockpit, and the Furbodyne Octo. What is this for? Uh, beginner's level probe core, so I guess it's designed for, like, attaching things to. We don't need that. We have Science Junior. Uh, scrolling on up. We also have advanced rocketry, which will net us a bigger fuel tank and some radial mount engines. Very, very nice. Very futuristic. Research, thank you. Uh, and this opens up heavy rocketry, which starts us into some of the uh, much larger rocket bodies, which I'm going to be needing. I really would like the mainsail, though, not the poodle. But extra fuel capacity is extra fuel capacity. But let's carry on with what we've got. I guess we'll uh, work on some unmanned probes, so we can't get some additional uh, science points. Let's see, communitrons, comms... What can we do for science, really? Aside from land around the world and gather more. Well, let's, let's just design something, see if we can maybe get it most of the way to the moon. Maybe the reduced weight of not having Kerbals will help in that regard. So bring along the Science Junior. Uh, first we'll throw on... Stayputnik. Throw a reaction wheel on there too. Because Stayputnik on its own uh, does not have a very powerful torque for changing orientation. So you gotta throw that on there too. Just to make sure you have enough torque to turn. Uh, let's see, we're gonna throw on a bit of Communitron for those guys, as I always do. Voila. Excellent. Alright, and oh, we also have. Do we also get that battery? I forget. Yeah, rechargeable battery bank. Put you up. Put you nah. Put you nah. There we go. Pretty nice. Also, throw some batteries on around the outside, because, you know, <laughs> you always need extra batteries. Uh, so you can, can you squeeze eight on here? Maybe? Aha. Sort of in between the communitrons there. Nice, got a nice slim profile still. Probably not the best for aerodynamics, but hey, I don't care. <laughs> uh, carrying on. Oh, wait, in case you decide to bring it back down, throw on some parachutes. This guy's really sort of designed to stay on orbit, though, so I don't know if I'll be bringing it back at all. Don't really need lights. Let's see, Oxat photovolts. We are going to need a bunch of these guys. Lay those on there. Come on. We're not going to worry too much about legs, because, well, I mean, it's designed to stay on orbit. 
we want to bring it back down, we'll just want deploy the chutes and hope it survives. Moving along. Let's see. Do I want to put anything here? Maybe. Do I have any goo? I don't have any goo. I really need goo, though. Goo doesn't go a very long way science-wise. Well, we'll throw some on there anyway. Can I fit it on sideways? Two of them? Yeah. Oh, I still have access to my uh, science junior. There we go. Goo. Looks kind of like a flotation device. Not a very effective one. Regardless, let's, uh, let's move this on down. Zoop. Gonna need some separation. Come on. You know you want to. Alright, what kind of rocketry are we gonna throw on this guy? We got our new, a shiny new fuel tank. Are we gonna put that there? No, this, we want an on-orbit engine, so we want a relatively small tank. This guy? This guy? Yeah, that should be enough. And we'll throw our little uh, LVT on there. We need more separation. Boop. Drag you up. And then, as things junk. Uh, do, 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 do. We'll grab some of these guys. Hopefully the, uh... Two of them? Together? Maybe? Let's see how far we can get with those. Those are big. I like them. This is gonna have that. And then below that, we're gonna try to get to the moon with this guy. Maybe make a, uh, an orbiting craft all full of science. I always try to get to the moon, but I never really make it, do I? Ba -ba -ba -da, structural, more stacked coupler. Do I want to try the triple tank down at the bottom here? Yeah, we got our struts. So, let's see. Propulsion. We are, I do want... Some additional control down here. So that's one of the biggest things about this is that it's really, really difficult to control. So we're gonna throw some more reaction wheels down there. Fuel tanks. There we go. Pull this guy up too. All the fuel tanks. And then do we want the more powerful one? Yeah. I was only marginally more powerful, but it's it's more powerful enough for my taste. There we go. So that will be our launch vehicle. We'll throw some uh, solid rockets on there as well. But first, we're going to reinforce this a bit with our strut connectors. I always recommend using strut connectors for this kind of thing because the, uh, the uh, what are these things called? Girder segments? Yeah, they suck. They're not very good. Don't use them. For anything ever. There we go, this is tripling up, right? Yeah. Moving down. Now, I shouldn't be adding a whole lot of weight to the build. But it should hopefully be enough to hold us together until we get to orbit. Kind of an odd arrangement, but hey, it'll do. Stack the couplers. Grab some of these. Radial the couplers here. We got a bit of separation. You there. 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 You there. That's even, right? Relatively? Yeah. Alright. Solid rockets. Propulsion. Solid fuel busters. There we go. And there we go. I'm actually feeling kind of confident about this now. Everything's lining up just right, which means something's going to go horribly, horribly wrong on the way up. Throw some more struts in between there. Just for uh, security's sake. There we 
I guess so. What's this guy doing down here? What's he yelling about? I'm busy. I'm building a rocket. You get your chance later. Alright, moving along. What do we got? Get some aerodynamics on there. Nose cones and more nose cones. More, there, more nose cones. I think without the music it's slightly more responsive, but not by much. Sweet. Okay. We got some super duper rockets. We got some separators. Do we want to throw little ones on here too? Probably not. That would be dangerous. Let's not do that. Moving along. Throw some winglets on here. Don't want to throw on too many. So I don't want to look that. Eh, it look kind of ridiculous. That's fine, but not too ridiculous. Let's see. Like so. I think that's, that's a nice pattern there. That'll do. Winglets on the inside as well. There's an actual winglet, right? Yeah. My actual winglet, winglet. The one that's like a wing and does winglety things. Very nice. I like it. Alright, let's get some of these guys on here. Good old fashioned launch support. Actually, you know what? Let's not put those there. Let's put these on the outside. Bunches of them. Like so. Just get us some nice hand holding at launch time. I like it. I think we'll go far with this guy. At least I'm hoping we will. Uh, let's see. Anything else I can throw on here? We got plenty of science. We got our photovolts. We got our extra batteries. Stay put next so we don't need to kill a Kerbal. Let's see. Ba -ba -ba. Don't need legs. Maybe we'll make some landers later on that use legs and such. But for now. Let's go ahead and launch this guy before my throat gives out. Sounds like a plan. Right, let's rearrange this real quick. Right, we're on the launch pad and we're already wobbling a bit. That's always a good sign. Let her settle down a little, at least wait till it's pointing east. Fire up SAS here, see if that'll help. Good. Relatively good. A little bit of wind. Let's go. Do this thing. Throttle up. Button! It's a good start. I like it. Tiniest bit east here. Got to start on our trajectory. Plenty of fuel to go around. No one's overheating. I like it. I like it a lot. Let's stay put in the contact. Still a little bit of skipping in the audio, but at least it's not the music. Next chance I get, I gotta Google that. See if I can fix that. We got plenty of fuel for going up, that's for sure. How's our apoapsis looking? At 14k now. Hope they fix those audio bugs. Very, very nice. Very pretty. Not like my other rockets, which get wobb wobbly wobbly. Now, 20k, let's start pointing it more east. Oh, feel that control. Oh, I love it. Don't oh, got a control now. Alright. 28k. I'm going to shoot for like 50,000 meters. This is probably about the smoothest launch I've had in campaign mode yet. Actually, probably about the smoothest launch I've had ever. 
of all time. Wish I didn't have to carry the rest of these uh, separators around, but hey, what are you going to do? Shouldn't be that heavy. Oop, 50k. We're going to point this bad boy due east. We're going to throttle down a bit until we get closer to uh, Apo. There we go. Looking good. Help spare some fuel. So, nope, not Highlands Explorer 1. That maneuver. Drag this bad boy out until it makes an orbit. Zoop. Not, maybe not that big of an orbit. Oop, maybe not that small one. There we go. That should be good enough. It's actually telling... Oh, because I uh, had that extra little maneuver in there. This mid burn is one minute almost at the node. Crank it. Those little bashes in the orbit yet. Don't want to deploy shoot. So we're some mystery goo. It's not worth much, but better than nothing. Rarified air. Actually, this is a really good orbit for this. Finally get some science out of this, uh... Out of this stuff. Come on. Get rid of this. I know what an orbit looks like. Let's point due at Apo. Oh, no wonder. So a little bit wobbly, but not too bad. Take our orbit map. Apo's still going up a bit. Doesn't matter that much. Come on. Come on. I'd like to see some orbit here. A little bigger. A little bigger, a little bigger, that's good. Very nice. Okay, sweet. We have plenty of fuel left, too, so if I want to change my mind, go to the MUN. We can do that. Let's, uh, let's get some science going on here. No, I don't want to decouple. I do want to observe the materials bay. Let's see, microgravity. Oh, I was hoping it'd still be in the rarefied air area. Can I get anything out of this? Any invisible this tidal torque? No. Can't get any reports out of the state putnik. So materials. Beam it. Do I have enough? I have lots of fuel. Let's let's try to go orbit the mun. Heck. You only you you only orbit once. You that's cool. I try landing on that island. That looks neat. I explore more of this world. I mean, I've got a couple probes here and there, but yeah, let's uh, let's go to the moon. Why not? Zip zip. zip. Let's see, take it from periapsis here. No, I don't want to go to Polar Explorer One. Come on, work with me here. Expand this out. Ooh, okay, maybe uh, maybe not at periapsis, maybe a little later. Take it from... no. Yeah. See what this gets us. Come on. Oh, well, we got a moon encounter there. Moon periapsis. Reduce. 
So I'm going to try to catch it in that window there, but I don't want to use too much fuel all at once. So, i got 31 minutes till I get there. Let's do some science. <laughs> I'm going to speed this up a bit. I'll meet you on the other side. All right, we're now less than a minute from our node. Let's fire up the orbit map here. Make sure we're pointing in the right direction, which we are, and fire. That'll do nicely. It's very pretty. I like it. Good fuel, plenty to go around still. Watch that orbit expand. Come on, you can do it. Keep an eye on our stage here. Good thing it keeps uh, just enough liquid fuel and oxidizer for each way. It's something you have to worry about for like jet planes, things like that. I like it. All right. Now we're going to speed it up so we can get to the Mun a little quicker. Alright, we've now been captured by the Mun. We're now heading in this direction relative to that. So we're going to add a maneuver, try to tighten this up a little bit, and do it in orbit. Might have to do this in two stages, unless... Come on, connect. There we go. Alright. Now we don't want to delete it. Let's do a thing. So we're... Oh, did I pass that already? I think I might pass it. That's why it's asking me to delete it. Alright. Let's, uh, let's put it in front of us this time. Oop. Too far. Let's just connect up. I mean, oh, I'm nervous to keep disappearing. Oh, because I'm sped up. Derp. Let's try this again. <laughs> Not being an idiot. Uh, that's what I want to do. Come on. Zip. Keep getting this is the opposite of that. Let's go pull it in. There we go. Use as little fuel as possible. I've only got about half a tank left. There should be plenty, I'll grant you. So back to staging. So we're in space, most certainly. Let's take a look at some materials. Ooh, this is all worth a lot. High radiation environment costs fuel samples to glow. I like it. It's very nice. What does the goo have to say? Seems to be less dense. Oh man, now we're getting some science. I'm going to keep making observations until we get to our node. Alright, we're in our last stage of burn. This will give us a nice tight orbit around Kerbin's Men. That is awesome. And come on, come on, come on. Zoop. Good enough. Alright. So I got plenty of fuel, so I might actually be able to make it back to Kerbin if I want to crash land this thing and not leave junk behind. But, there she is. And where's the moon? There's the moon. Hi, moon. How you doing? Let's see what kind of science we can get out here. So we're just going to leave this guy on station for some time. So we've got our high radiation environment. So you can't tilt this up a little bit. Get some better exposure for the uh, for the solar panels. They don't seem to be charging for some reason. It's got direct sunlight. Oh, because I'm looking at derp. Yeah, plenty of electric charge. He he he. I missed that being on top. So yeah, that is a probe orbiting the Mun. Next step, Kerbals. I don't know. Maybe we'll send some stuff farther out, since this gave us uh, fuel aplenty. Maybe we'll head for Duna next. Is that Duna? What's the next Mun out? Take a look at the orbit map. See if we can find it. This guy, what is that? Minmus, that's what it's called. So we'll maybe send a probe to Minmus 
Might even be better out there. What is that? Pole. Tylo. Bop. I don't know what those are. Oh, those are just planets. Those are planets that are way far out. They're not, they're not muns. Okay, so yeah, this has been an episode of an Engineer Asterisk Plays Kerbal Space Program. Uh, we've made it to the mun, in a manner of speaking. Talk to everyone later. Late, right, I can't talk. Talk to everyone later. Like, favorite, subscribe, do all the things that you do so well. Check some of my other shows while you're at it. Uh, that will be an episode. Have a nice day.